it's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you this absolutely insane bullet transition. So if I push play, this is what we're going to be creating in today's video. It's super, super easy to do and it requires very little keyframing. So if you're new to Final Cut Pro or you're new to, uh, you know, editing in Final Cut Pro for music videos, then this is going to be very helpful, I hope. And if it is, please consider leaving a like and uh, maybe subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos just like this. So I want to thank Deposit Photos for sponsoring today's video. I know a lot of us are trying to cut down the time needed to find footage, images, or even music for our time sensitive projects. With Deposit Photos, you can quickly save time finding photos, videos, vectors, and more with their AI powered search filters, collections, and favorites folder. On top of their AI powered search filters, you can easily find any type of content like glitch overlays or the broken glass effect that we will achieve in this tutorial. You can find a similar style of video I will be using by searching glass bullet and switching to the video filter to get thousands of results. You can extend your search by date added, type of content, resolution, length, if it's isolated or not, and so much more. The possibilities are truly endless when it comes to finding assets for your project. If you want to try it for yourself, visit the link at the bottom of the description to sign up and learn more. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So again, a big shout out to Deposit Photos for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so first things first, you want two clips in the timeline. First one's going to be the video that you want to use to transition onto this second clip here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the part where I want to kind of make the effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the second clip. We're going to drag this below the first clip. I'm going to go about halfway because this is how long between this point and this point. That's how long I want this effect to last. So I'm going to go to the beginning here. This area here where the playhead is at is where we're going to be uh, adding a freeze frame. So this is where it's going to freeze the frame. So if you want it to like stop here or maybe here and go to that uh, area in the timeline. I'm gonna go to the top and go to edit and go down to add a freeze frame. What this will do is it will pretty much freeze the frame so you can uh, use it as a still image. So I'm gonna go to the end. I'm gonna click and drag this inwards to decrease the length of that clip. And we're gonna delete the end of this clip here because we don't need the rest. So we're gonna delete that. And then this clip here now is a freeze frame. So this is how long this effect or transition is going to last. So I'm going to make this a lot shorter. Make sure to drag this in like that. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the project window and you want to import the image or a video if you want to use a video. If you're going to be using a video, make sure it's an alpha channel. So it's kind of like a transparent video or you have a PNG image uh, as a photo. Okay. So I already did that. I added this one. So I'm going to click and drag this right above the clip here. And I'm going to go to the end of the first clip there of the freeze frame. I'm going to press command B to split the clip and then delete the end of that because we don't need that. What you're going to do is you're going to select the bullet holes PNG image. You're going to go over to the transform tool. Go ahead and decrease the size to uh, whatever size you want. Place it anywhere on your video. That looks good there. So I'm going to click on done. And now if I push play, it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to select both of those clips. I'm going to press option G or you can just right click and click new compounds clip to group those two clips together. What it will do is we'll pretty much make it a single clip. We're going to go with uh, bullet new one and press OK. So now you can see it adds uh, it acts as one clip. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the effects. We're going to go down to the mask and then we're going to add the draw mask onto the uh, clip here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the video, go to 150%, use this to pan around. And I'm going to make a selection of this inner circle. So click and drag to make a curve, something like this, maybe here and something like that. And then like that. Now, when you click on the, on this last point, it's going to show the video beneath. But what we're going to do is we're going to invert the mask so that anything inside of this circle is going to be shown. So we're going to go over to the, I'm going to go back to fit. I'm going to go over to the inspector tab. I'm going to go in the draw mask and I'm going to go next to invert mask. I'm going to have this box checked so that it does the opposite. And then we're going to go over to the feather and we're going to feather this so it makes it a softer of an edge. So I'm going to feather this maybe outwards and then decrease the fall off the right a little bit like that. So now if we go back and push play, you're going to see the video beneath, which is what we want. So once we have that, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over to the transform. So click back on the transform tool and you're going to notice that the anchor point is not inside of this center point of this mask. You're going to go down and you're going to go next to anchor. So X and Y, you're going to click and drag this. So that this is positioned exactly in the middle of that mask. So kind of play around so that it so that this looks exactly like this. So now I'm going to click anywhere on the video and just drag this back into the original position that it was on. We're going to increase the scale 
uh, next to scale all to 101 so that we don't have any gaps in between this video frame. So now it's gonna scale up a little bit like that. And you can also add fake movement to this at the very end if you really want to. So we're gonna go over to the transform tool now. We're gonna go and add a keyframe over here. Just click on this button. Then we're gonna go to the end and then you're gonna press the left arrow key to go one frame to the left. Go ahead and zoom out to maybe 50 or 25%. And then next to scale all, click and drag this all the way until it's either like this, or you can go maybe like that if you want. Uh, I, I like it like this personally, so I'm gonna click on done. And then now if I go back to fit and I push play, you have this perfect transition or this bullet transition. Now, you can barely tell it's a bullet because it's going by so quick, uh, but we don't have a preview of it in the beginning. So in order for that to work, just double click on the grouped clip, select the PNG image of the bullet, which is this one, press command C, go back to the previous main timeline, pressing this button, and then go to the beginning here, and then press command V, and then you're gonna extend this over to the left a couple of frames. At the end of this clip, just drag this back to the beginning like this. So now, if I go back and push play, you're gonna get a very short uh, preview of what's going to happen. So it'll look just like this. And man, this looks absolutely insane. And as you just saw, it's that easy to do. So this can be an excellent way for any beginners looking to, you know, create easy transitions for music videos. So, so be sure to visit Deposit Photos as well if you guys want assets just like this one here. And again, they have a bunch of different assets, not only images, but they also have videos and they have music and they have vectors and graphics and so on. So be sure to check them out. And again, a big, a big special thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Also, be sure to visit my website as well if you guys want music video editing packs to kind of level up your editing game. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll catch you on my next video.